start with a point. Like the point we know from geometry, it has no size, no dimension. It's just an imaginary idea that indicates a position in a system. A second point, then, can be used to indicate a different position. But it, too, is of indeterminate size. To create the first dimension, all we need is a line joining any two points. A first dimensional object has length only, no width or depth. If we now take our first dimensional line and draw a second line crossing the first, we've entered the second dimension. The object we're representing now has a length and a width, but no depth. To help us with imagining the higher dimensions, we're going to represent our second dimensional object as being created using a second line, which branches off from the first. Now let's imagine a race of two-dimensional creatures called Flatlanders. What would it be like to be a Flatlander living in their two-dimensional world? A multitude of paths that we could branch to at any given moment. Those branches will be influenced by our own choice, chance, and the actions of others.